I'm an avid cruiser, 45 and still counting. But if you're like me, the thought of getting on a big cruise ship is just not something I want to consider for the near future. But I've noticed many people are looking at river cruises, specifically river cruises in the USA. Two years ago, I took my first USA river cruise on the American Queen steamboat, and I loved it. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Sandy from Sandy Over 70. I hope you'll enjoy this video and give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Have you been on the American Queen or one of the other river boats that sail the rivers of the USA? Let me know below in the comments. Now, come along with me on my river voyage on the Lower Mississippi from Memphis to New Orleans on the American Queen Steamboat. There are two riverboat cruise lines in the United States with similar sounding names, American Cruise Lines and American Queen Voyages. For a long time, I thought they were one and the same. American Queen Voyages has four riverboats, American Queen, American Countess, American Duchess, and American Empress. The American Queen is by far the largest and most authentic, with 222 staterooms and a capacity of 436 guests. It is said to be the largest river steamboat ever built. It's one of the few river boats actually propelled by steam and a paddle wheel. I'm going to show you just a few of the places we visited on this itinerary. The first night we spent in Memphis and the next day we visited Elvis's home Graceland and the Graceland Entertainment Center. In Vicksburg, Mississippi, we visited the Coca-Cola Museum and the Old Depot Museum where we saw this miniature reenactment from the Civil War. In Vicksburg, Mississippi, we visited the Anchuca Mansion, built in 1830. In Natchez, Mississippi, we visited the Christmas markets at Magnolia Hall. Then we went to Staten Hall, built in 1857. The LSU Rural Life Museum is a must-see experience in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The exhibits are both inside and outside. Myrtle's Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana was a fun visit because this house is purported to be haunted. 
Nottaway Plantation was definitely the most impressive. As we sailed away into the night, three bonfires were lit. The riverboat docked in New Orleans, where we spent an extra day doing walking tours and enjoying the food. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Take care and have a wonderful day.